Hello, wonderful people, viewers, and subscribers. You're welcome back again. This is BVI Channel One, where we tell you the gospel truth. And I want to do this one just very quickly and briefly. Peter B had just come back and he has responded not to Mbaka to be specific, but to all those who say Peter B, the stingy man. Now, listen to what he has to tell you and then take it to the bank. I'll be right back. So it's not certain to say Peter B is a nice man, Peter B is charitable. He's a somebody who gives yeah, you. Yeah, they say you're stingy. That's another one they've been saying. No, no, no. Because I'm bringing everything to the fore, so you address all this issue. They say you are stingy. You know, there's a talk about uh, you know they give shishi. And did, did, did you read what uh, Bianca wrote? Yes. Go and read it. It's a true story. I've given away more money than all these who give away money. What I don't do is that I have allergy for money being wrongly spent, mm -hmm. public or private. Mm -hmm. I don't spend money carelessly. I spend it for what it is used. And people can see it. it, it, it and it has nothing to do with anybody. It has to do with my own, even my family. Mm. Everybody knows. If you call my wife today, we will tell you, Peter will not buy this. Peter will not do this. Peter will not do this. You know, I have a young man who traveled to Rwanda this morning. I was supposed to travel with him. But I had to cancel because of the... I had a, a travel this he was going to travel today and he said, said to me, Oga, I booked your hotel in so so and so so place. But they said it's a thousand five hundred dollars a night. I said, no way. I'm only just paying to sleep. How can you do a thing like that? Where are you staying? He told me he's staying in a hotel where he's paying three hundred dollars uh, two hundred and fifty, three hundred dollars. I said, Is it not bad that they have this bed? I said, so Am I going to? So why would I pay five times more for the same thing you're going to sleep? Is it not the same? And it's a good hotel. Mm. And so I don't. Money is meant to be used for something that is useful, mm. not for any other thing. Mm. You read me and casting mm. how I go to America. We we're going for dinner. He asked me. That he took me to a place, mm. nice, is my wife of my boss, mm. so I see her as my mother. So he took me to a shop that the mother would take his son. And when he got there, the wife of my leader. And when I got there, we saw a suit for $10,800. Good. You had it all from him. He had also confirmed what many have read on the social media, what Bianca Ojuku wrote about him. In case you have not read it, let me just narrate the story in a jiffin for you. Bianca Ojuku wrote that Peter Obi once visited them in the US, him and Dame Odumego Ojuku in their residence. And they were expected to um to attend an event where Peter Obi is the special guest and he will be delivering speech. And there you have dignitaries. You have, um, you know, timbers and calibers of people he's going to be addressing and he's expected to be in top-notch dresses. But the man came into the residence of Ojuku with just one small luggage. And inside the luggage is just one t-shirt. And he was asked, is that what you're going to wear to the event? And he said, yes. Ah, they said, no, that cannot be. That he must be on a suit. And they have to drive him to a top-notch um, boutique. A very classy one. Where they sell clothes of a suit. About $4,000 or $5,000. I can't remember specifically the amount. And the man said, no, 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 no. He can't buy such amount of... Uh, spend such amount of money for... A suit he chose to go to a you know a lower classy the kind of boutique to buy a regular suit for about 300 there about and that was it that was what he wore for that event and while he was being taken back to the airport to return back to nigeria the man that was driving he told him mister 
um there are people who you know that um they need help you mentioned one woman that needs help and another that needs assistance and the rest of them the man said yes he said i have taken away the amount of money i spent on the suit i wore for that event from the amount i would have purchased that very expensive suit use the balance here i have the balance because he has the money in cash in the envelope use the balance to attend to the needs of these people that needs help the man is stingy to himself for the benefit of others now nigerians this is the kind of man that you need to serve you and not those who will rule over you join the ballot revolution now before it's too late thank you for watching i just hope you can inspire other nigerians by sharing this video i'm just a voice the archbishop good governance ministry please take this message round i've delivered it just share it drop your comments i want to have your opinion and don't forget to subscribe bye bye for now